So, after you finish um, encoding your serial number, your Bluetooth proxy SG serial number, we're now going to start the CLI configuration wizard. So, in step one, it says, what do you plan, how do you plan to configure this appliance? For letter A, through a manual setup, which means this is a standalone mode setup. For letter B, through a director managed setup, which means um, you will configure this proxy SG um, through a management center. Um, director is actually the old um, oh, it's the old appliance um, that was replaced by management center. Okay, so here we go. So for this setup, we're going to um, choose letter A through a manual setup since we don't have the semantic management center. So in this case, uh, we're going to to input our management um, IP address, which is on interface 0 slash 0. So it is um, number 1. So is the IP address to be configured on a non-native VLAN? Normally, um, um, you, you just hit this enter, but uh, since we know that the, the interface that you're going to be to use is an is a non-native VLAN, so you'll just um, press enter here. So is the IP address? What's the IP address? So I already input the IP address before, so I I can if you want to change it, you can configure the IP address here or just remain it. Uh, if you don't want to change it, just leave it there. Just press enter. Then for the subnet mask, just press enter also. Then IP gateway, if it's um, still the same, so just press enter. And also the DNS. So he's asking, what would you like to change any of them? Just pr if you press yes, then it would uh, it will ask you again for the IP address, subnet mask, and the gateway. Again, so for now we're going to press um, enter. Because as it was indicated as no. So would you like to change the control console user account now? So yes. So just type letter Y and it will prompt for that. So if you want to change the username, um, not the default admin, you can do so. But for me, um, I'm going to use the admin. Then the password is... Then again, the enable password um, is different from the console password. So if you want to have a better security, it's best recommended that you put a different password uh, of enable password compared to the console password. So so do you want to secure that serial port? No. Because uh, this is a VA and we don't we can do that um, on the VPM before after So just press letter N Then here we go. So it says there that we can access now the our proxy SG via HTTPS 1010.200.100 port 8082 so So this is the uh, first configuration wizard uh, proxy SG and I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you for watching.